Hey everyone, Cody here and welcome back to YouTube. So today we're going to be doing a little bit of a different painting. It's going to be monochrome. We're just going to do some gray, some white, and some black. Uh, but the technique is not something I don't think I've done on this channel yet. Uh, and it's something that I saw another uh, artist that I follow do. So I thought, you know what, let's try it out. If it works, cool. It's something for you to take home with you. And if it uh, doesn't really work out, well, I can't predict the future. So we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So we've got a medium gray, a light gray, a dark gray, a white and a black. Now the white and the black, we're actually not gonna put on the, our uh, watercolor paper here. We're going to only do the grays and then we're going to actually use this wood strip here and we're gonna paint this strip and then we're gonna use it to make little designs um, on the paper. So that's actually what we're doing today. So let's go ahead and get started here. Let's go ahead and put some gray there and a little bit of the medium gray there. And then we'll put our light gray, maybe right there, you know, towards the bottom and maybe up here on this side right there. And then we'll kind of go ahead and bring a little bit of the dark gray down here, but we're really gonna saturate this area up here and kind of make it into uh, the dark gray there. And maybe just a little bit more of lighter gray. All right, so now that we've got that on there, um, we're gonna go ahead and start putting it on. Let's see, I don't know if I have another paintbrush here that I could use for that, but we're gonna go ahead and disperse these colors. We're gonna start with our lighter gray and we're gonna kind of push that out to the edges uh, before we actually start mixing the colors. We'll kind of get some pure color in there. And then we'll kind of push that out and we'll start uh, mixing these colors in. Now, the thing I like about the gloss enamel is that it's uh, very dynamic. It creates some very beautiful looking colors when they mix. The only problem is over mixing, which I've talked about many, many, many times. And I'm gonna kind of mix some of these colors in uh, so that there's no just kind of blocks of color here. And we're gonna kind of mix some of this dark gray in. bottom here. All right, cool. I think that's good. Kind of mix that in, pick up some of that color, get the ends here, and there we go. That's actually a, a pretty cool looking uh, background. Pretty cool painting itself. I mean, if I was into uh, super minimalist paintings, this might actually be decent, but we're not about that simple abstract life. We're gonna make it more complicated than it needs to be. And it actually looks like I missed a little bit right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of touch that up there. So we're not we're not trying to make a super simple painting here. We want, we want something good. So now that we've got that, we're gonna move these paints aside because now we're gonna to get to kind of the, uh, the interesting part. So what we're gonna start with is we're gonna start with uh, white. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to move this over a little bit just so that we've got it here in frame. And then we're going to take this strip and we're going to put some paint on the strip. And then we're going to take that strip and we're going to put it on the painting. So what I need is a paintbrush. I think I need a smaller paintbrush. So a little cracked this this should work so I'll use this little foam brush so we're gonna dip it into our paint here and we're gonna put it on our tool and it looks like it's about as long as the uh, paper so we're gonna we're gonna put the paint on there as long as the paper here get it Nice uh, even coat here. Just kind of pull that down. All right, so now we got it on there. Cool. And so now what we're gonna do is we're going to take this bad boy and we're gonna stick it on our painting in a diagonal fashion. 
fashion and we'll kind of go right there. And so we're just gonna push it down, kind of wait a second, and then we're gonna pull it off. All right, so then we'll go ahead and do this a couple more times. We'll uh, cover that gray up with the white. All right, and we'll go ahead and go at a different angle here. We'll go right there. And looks like I actually have to go down a little bit further, so we'll just kind of go over it again. Cool. So let's see if we can get another another slash right there. So we'll put on our paint here. I'm gonna try it without using the brush. The only reason is because I keep pushing on that gray, it's gonna keep pushing into the white and eventually kind of change the color. So let's see if we can get it right here. And we'll kind of push it down, maybe rock it back for us a little bit to kind of crush that paint, straighten it out. And it's sticking, so let's see if we can get it to pull off here. Cool. All right, so it's got some uh, some pretty cool designs. So maybe we'll do one more down here, and we'll just go from like right there. So we'll get a little bit more on there. Perfect. Looks like there's still quite a bit of paint on there. Um, so I'm just gonna even this paint out. All right, and we'll see if we can kind of use it up somewhere. So then maybe we'll just put like a, like a slash right next to it. Right there. Cool. All right, so we're good with the white, we're gonna stop for now. And we're gonna go ahead and clean this off, which I think I forgot all my paper towels inside. So, let's see. Uh, I'll just go ahead and use my glove. So I'm gonna wipe that off. Sorry, I'm not more prepared. I meant to bring some more paper towels out here, and I just didn't. All right, so now that we've got that, we'll go ahead and take this glove off, replace it, and we will move on to black. And I don't know how, but the paint got in my glove. So that's pretty cool. <clears throat> All right, so now that we've got that bad boy all set, let's move on to the black. So let's pull this bad boy over here. We'll put that there for now, actually. I kind of don't want it to go back into the uh, the paint, so I'm going to put it in water. So now we'll move on to black, and we will put it on our little stick here. And then we'll even it out. Nice thin layer. All right, cool. So we'll put that there, and we will go ahead and put our stripe in there. So I don't really want to go crosswise and start messing with the uh, the pattern. I like having it kind of diagonal. But what we will do is kind of go maybe down here first. Really kind of push that in, and then lift it off. All right. So, do it again. And this time we'll go over here. Let me move these bad boys. And we'll go up here. Starting right there and push down. Even it out. Perfect. And some on there so we'll just add a little bit just to kind of cover it up 
cool cool and we'll go ahead and go right next to the white stripe here <coughs> and very cool so maybe we'll do a black one right next to this other one All right, and let's do another one right there. I didn't put any more paint on it, so yeah, you can see it's kind of breaking up. And I feel like I'm, I'm gonna do one more right in the center. Actually, let's do a white one right next to that. So we'll just flip it over and we'll put the white on the other side. off off camera all right so I'm gonna go ahead and call it for this painting um, overall it's kind of an interesting painting I like the technique it's it, it definitely I could definitely see it uh, turning out really well I think honestly for me this technique probably didn't work as I imagined uh, in my head only because only because that stick was probably too thick. So if it was a little bit thinner and it made some thinner lines so it wasn't so overwhelming, it might actually have been kind of a cooler painting, I think, overall. But I, I, I like the technique. It's an interesting one. Um, I've seen this artist do it on like purple backgrounds or you know yellow backgrounds, orange backgrounds. So on maybe a more vibrant uh, background that would also kind of it make the black and white pop because it's on such a big contrast of a background. So. Ultimately, uh, I don't really like the way that it turned out, but I do like the technique and I could see how it would be very cool. Um, but I think it's an interesting technique for you to try if you're just looking for something different, you know, you kind of want to make some lines or something. I have seen this same artist do something pretty cool. Uh, they made a plaid, um, they made like a plaid painting because they did rows of the colors or whatever, and then they took like a strip and did the, the black lines or whatever or the white lines in between so it looked like plaid. I just thought that was interesting. Uh, but that's it for the painting guys. Uh, ultimately I really like the background. I think it turned out pretty cool but the technique on top not a huge fan of. But I wanted to share that with you guys just in case you're looking for some inspiration or something different to do. Anyways, guys, that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please let me know. If you didn't, that's cool. Let me know. And, uh, you know, I hope that you are subscribed. If not, please do so. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. God bless. And stay safe out there. Okay? Bye, guys. See you later.